I like to think of directing as being like a conductor. Like a conductor needs to know what every instrument in an orchestra is capable of doing, but he doesn't necessarily need to know how to play every single instrument in the orchestra. There's, you know, there's some instruments he's probably fluent with, like piano or you know, um, guitar or whatever. Um, but he doesn't need to know every single. He just needs to know what every instrument is capable of. And so with the creative gap. Um, you know, what you think it's going to turn out to be and what it actually turns out to be. There's all this space in the middle where there's, where you need to know what your resources are, what your resources are capable of, and, and you know, if you know, if you know what all your resources are capable of, the creative gap all of a sudden gets a lot slimmer. You know, Kina was looking for a music video, and you know, through the grapevine, she has like a friend of a friend of a friend who knew me, and so they put us in contact. And um, you know, she said, you know, we're looking for a, a music video. Here's the song. Um, I don't really have any ideas, but you know, I'd like to hear your ideas. And so I was kind of researching, thinking about it, and I saw, I came across this um, this Domino video. You know, there's lots of Domino videos on on YouTube. Um, and I, and I wanted to also include animation in it somehow. And I didn't really want to use, you know, traditional animation just because that wasn't really, that wasn't unique, basically. So I came up with the idea of, you know, sticking an animation cell inside of a DVD case, just because a DVD case is, you know, it was a low-budget thing, so all we could afford is DVD cases. Um, and so, we stuck animation cells inside of them, we, and we got like this cheap warehouse location in uh, downtown LA. And, you know, we, you know, a crew of, you know, maybe 10 people and Kina, we kind of got together and, you know, shot this thing where we lined up 800 DVD cases with the animation cells in them. Um, and kind of just filmed, filmed that really. We launched it a week before Valentine's Day and it did you know, a million views in probably a week or two. And I think now, a year and three months later, it's up to, uh, it's like seven and a half million views. So that one is by far the most successful one I've done. And I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so three minutes was basically my first, not really my first, but it's like my first real solid project with solid actors with, you know, a good crew and a really cool concept. Um, it was my first real, you know, short film that I put up on, online. Um, and, you know, it's been really successful. I mean, what, what we had initially planned it to be was, you know, we would all just get together and make something you know, for our reel to kind of be something cool to show around, um, you know, maybe drum up some attention or whatever. Nobody ever, exp you know, nobody ever thought it would be this successful. Um, you know, even Harry, you know, after the fact thought, you know, it was just going to be a one-off thing. He was going to go film something, you know, one weekend and, and that would be it. And then we'd put it online and that would be, you know, a little thing featuring Harry. But, you know, the thing, the video did somewhere around 500,000 views in the first week. Yeah. And so, you know, that caught a lot of attention from the industry people and, um, you know, Harry and his manager were really amazed at how, how well it had been received. And, you know, there's talk about turning it into a feature, there's talk about turning it into a web series. Um, there's a whole di bunch of different routes that we're, you know, trying to figure out which way we want to go. Um, but it's been really successful. I've been, we're all really surprised at how well it's been doing. And him giving me input, me giving him input, and it was kind of more of a collaboration type thing than you know just all my idea on like a lot of my other videos. When we when we initially like threw the idea at him, he said, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, I do like my job on Glee, but on Glee, I'm just known as the Asian guy who can dance really well. And you know that's kind of that's kind of become a stereotype nowadays with you know America's Best Dance Crew 
and um, so you think you can dance. There's a lot of really good Asian dancers that are out there now, and you know people kind of have gotten the, it in their brains that oh you're Asian, well maybe you can you know you can probably dance really well, or you can probably choreograph really well, or you you know you can do kung fu really well. Um, so he wanted to get out of the realm of dancing and you know kung fu and all that stuff, and so he wanted to kind of show the world that he's not just a, a dancer, and he wanted to show people that he could do action as well. And so we kind of started thinking of, of ideas that would show him as a, an action person. Well, I'm assigned to a commercial and music video production company, so uh, doing commercials and music videos. Um, I might be doing one for AJ Raphael, if you know who he is. Yeah. Um, working on a music video for that. Might be doing a commercial for Sony Ericsson. Um, and then um, I have a manager for features now, and so he's kind of trying to to you know find a good feature script and you know get some get some funding for it or. Um, get some get some people attached to to something like that.